Okay, so the guys we're wanting to raid tomorrow, or maybe even, maybe even I'll raid them now. It's these guys here, big base, and we've only heard them open sheet metal doors. So I might come back and just explosive ammo into the core. And I don't think they're online. Like, if they were online, I could maybe try and take, like, one or two of them inside the base. I'm not that experienced with raiding, so I'm not super confident. Uh, but if there's one online, I'd maybe try it. Um, but the fact that there's, no, that there's no one online right now, and their base is obviously going to progress and get bigger, this could, be a, this could be a prime time to raid them. But I haven't farmed anything yet. We don't really have any sulfur right now, so... I think I might just go far, maybe buy a jackhammer from Outpost. I'll pull maybe, I don't know, 15,000 sulfur together. Furnace them all up. And then give this base a go. We'll see how it goes, boys. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. Someone in the satellite there. He looks like he's holding a pistol. Yeah, I think I'm going to go try him. He looks like he's been farming some scrap. So, red suit player with a pistol in hand. Possibly a python. Worst case scenario, M92. Go inside. I assume this is the satellite with the, uh, the recycler in it. Yes, yeah, so I see his gun in there. I don't know if he's just chilling. He to be just sat next to the recycler. I'm actually able to get an easy headshot here. Tagged him twice. One was a headshot. Sorry, dude. Oh, he's only got a revy. I feel bad now oh my god okay 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 i did feel pretty bad this is a lot of stuff and i really really need it so <laughs> i mean while we're here why not get a bit greedy god damn nearly a thousand scrap probably a thousand scrap after we recycled all this stuff actually definitely worth coming over here absolutely crazy so that's going to allow us to research the auto turret which we can put outside the raid we're going to do and then uh and then the explosive ammo which obviously is the you know the bit we kind of need to raid perfect Right, a lot of high qual, a lot of metal frags, and of course, a lot of scrap. So after farming some nodes, furnishing my sulfur, and crafting some ammo, I decided to head to the base across the valley, and start making a raid base. Okay, so we're here, there's a base there, base there, and a base there, so I'm thinking maybe build our raid base around here somewhere. Kind of want to get it a little further here, yeah, we've got plenty of space here to build it, so I think if we do... <laughs> Alright boys, so base secure, we got the upstairs, we got all these shooting floors, just in case we need them, you never know boys, you never know. And then if you come down the stairs, we've got garage door, two sheet metal double doors on the entrance just for a little airlock. And then we've got TC and I'll bring some boxes over here. Uh, I'm actually going to put a little chest here right now, just store the turrets in it, the majority of the ammo, and then I can run home with it. In fact, save myself some time here. Just by crafting another chest, throwing some stuff in, suiciding, and then running back. Then I don't have to do two, two long runs, you know? Alright boys, the most important part leading up to the raid, which is transferring the explosives. So we've got, it's 2x service, we've got double stacks. Uh, so we've essentially got six, mm, yeah, six and a bit stacks of explosive ammo. I think we'll be able to get all the way into their into their main loot if they don't have any garage doors. Turn her right on. And we'll put another one up here. Already? Who are you shooting at? Checking on it like it's a child. <laughs> Who the hell did that just shoot at? I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone dead. I really hope it wasn't one of these players. I'm very confused as to where my turret just shot. I'm gonna try and hurry up and get this next one down. There we go. Got it turned on. Very, very confused. I'm glad the turret's watching my back, though. I'm glad I've got two of them there. Is this it? Did it? Did it murder a chicken? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Those chickens can get pretty aggro, to be fair. Thank you, turret. Help is help. Can't turn it down. Let's go, boys. Alright, first door down. Three mags of explosive ammo gone. And I think there'll be a second door. What have they done? Yeah, so a second door there, and then I'm pretty sure the original door that we initially saw is just after this one, so... Maybe just quickly check upstairs. See what we've got up there. 
hoping there's no yeah, shotgun traps. Nope. Okay, so it's just the roof access, right? So we're just going to go through here. The only place I'm really worrying from is from, like, round here. Someone could come round, and I don't think the turret actually looks this way. I'm not certain. Alright, we're through. And I think I heard us knocking on another sheet metal door. I think I heard another... Okay, so that's a double, so that wasn't there initially. Should be able to splash both of these, though, which is pretty perfect. Pop these off. So I think it's actually more doors than I anticipated, but I think we'll still be good. Is that a sleeping bag? No, it's just dirt. So, it's nearly hitting them for the same amount. A little bit of disparity will hit this door as well. Coming down pretty fast. Won't be long, boys. We'll be touching the loot in no time. Damn. Almost no HP on both of them. Let's go. Two doors at once. Oh, hit markers. Hit markers, hit markers, hit markers. Who are you then? I'm sleeping there. Got some furnaces and that. Right, so this is one of the guys I've seen kicking about. Not got much left now. I'm going to actually go grab some more from the base. No, I'll use this up and then I'll grab a fresh rifle. Bring another stack in a bit. Should get pretty far with this. I mean, we can always go and get more. We have a ton more sulfur furnacing. Like... Literally, the only thing that's slowing me down is my lack of charcoal and my slow-ass furnaces. I could use a few more of them, I think. What we got through here, then? Hello, hello. I'm here to talk. Oh, garage doors. This isn't what we wanted to see. I was actually hoping they didn't have them. But considering we've gone pretty far without hitting one yet, they might not have too many of them. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just keep pressing on. They've still got their lights on. Oh, it's all electric. That's so cool. Like, wires going to the lights and stuff. Not going to be electric for long, buddy. Does that... Yeah, that wire goes down to the basement. Could this be... I think it goes down to the basement. This could be a bunker base. Considering the ground slopes out here, I might be right there, actually. I think I'm going to start splash, splash damaging the bottom left and just see... Because that's probably where we might want to go. I mean, look at it. It slopes down here, doesn't it? And then this electricity goes into the ground. This definitely could be a bunker base down there. We'll have to see. This could be really expensive, though. Hmm. There we go. So it does drop down. So this wire comes through. goes down to that. I think I actually hear an auto turret. I'm not sure if it's mine that I hear. Pretty sure I hear one though. Right, we've got our first boxes. So I'm going to load up to normal 556 five, just in case we get attacked. Now, this base does go up as well, which could be to the main loot room. Okay, I'm just checking. So, there's nothing like under there, so we're not going to get screwed for anything there. We've got no scrap in there. Nothing in the box. Nothing in the box, unfortunately. I'm going to get a little bit more explosive ammo. We're going to go through the next door. So, I've got the majority of the explosive ammo on me right now. We're just going to press on. Pretty well lit down there, so I think this might be their main loot through here. Uh, doing a bit of damage to the wall, the ceiling. This wall could be a possible way to go through. Could maybe maybe curve around into loot around here, so we'll have to consider that. It is a ac ooh. Actually these armored these garage doors might wrap the whole way around. Because they have a two by two core on the roof. It's armored on the roof. I think I showed you guys that earlier. So this is probably the squares, actually, because these triangles probably wrap the whole way around the squares, and they, these garage doors probably go around and in. So maybe going through this wall could be an option, but that's 400 explosive ammo, so we need to carefully consider it and not just jump into anything. Something just broke inside. I'm not too sure what that was, but that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, it's the research table. Last few bullets and we're in, boys. See what we get. Ooh. Okay. So I'm seeing two drop boxes going into the center. 800 cloth in the drop box. Okay. Right. So 
My suspicions are correct, I think. So these probably do wrap around. So I think those splash damage in this wall was quite a good idea. I'm just a bit annoyed we didn't do it earlier. But still, that's uh, already 200 health off of that. So it's only probably about 300 bullets to do it. So we've got 200 here. Damn. So we're not quite there. So I'm just going to have to run home, craft up some more ammo, come right back, and carry on raiding. But it's okay because I can chuck my stuff in the base, craft it up, and run back over. I think if we go get some more explosive ammo and blow that wall, we'll probably get straight into their main loot room. All right, boys. This is it. This should, hopefully, get us into their main loot. All right. So we're going to want to hit here. And then hopefully this should splash this as well. It's, I'm kind of surprised actually. Splash this already. We haven't shot this at all yet. I'm going to hit this right one. Beautiful. Getting some hit markers. So we've at least got a sleeper in there, which is perfect. It's just what we want. Oh, rip the drop box. Okay, so we've just dropped below three quarters on each wall. Basically, with it costing 400 to knock down a metal wall, obviously a quarter of... 400 is no sorry three quarters of 400 is uh is 300 so we've got nearly enough there i think we should we'll probably only just have enough to knock these walls down or we'll, it'll literally be 10 hp and we'll have to go get more we will see boys it could be very close though six and a half hours later all right boys so we've got a quarter left on each and we have 105 bullets so we should just have enough here it's going to be close, though. It's going to be real close. We might even end up having to shoot down the last few HP with normal bullets, which could be a bit of a ball ache. Getting there, boys. Getting there. I'm excited. Oof. Really wanted to get rid of these guys. They keep knock. They keep. They kept like jumping into our fights at train yard. It's so annoying. So annoying when you're just trying to like fight someone else and then you get. L96 from the middle of nowhere. Nine bullets. Oof, it's going to be close. We're into one room. Boxes, sleeper with an AK, TC, another sleeper. Oh my, perfect. Perfect. This is what we want to see. Okay, right. Let's quickly just have a quick check of the loot. C4, semis, L, oh, oh my, what is that crate, what is, immediately, let's, let's quickly empty that, and switch to an LR, because we may end up needing it, wow, okay, this is insane, sleepers, is there any, do we have any sulfur, oh, chest under here, this is often the explosives chest, please, <laughs> right, okay, oh, this is unreal, Oh, there's more boxes here. Oh, there's our explosives. Okay, okay. Not bad at all. Do we have anything in these drop boxes? More guns? These guys are huge PvPers. Jesus. I mean, we got into a couple scraps with them, but... Didn't realize they were this OP. Holy crap, guys. Right, so I'm going to kill the sleepers, break the bags, and then start hitting TC. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, guys, while I'm doing this, you see these doors I said wrapped around. Look, you see another frame there. And then a door here. I reckon these literally wrap the whole way around this core. I'm so glad I came through this wall. So, so glad. Very nearly there, boys. This is our time. It's our moment. This is our base now, boys. This is our base now. 200 high quality. Let's go. Let's absolutely... Let's go, boys. First things first. Let's get our TC down on our new base. All right. Let's get the front door on. Goddamn, boys. We're secure. What was this furnace saying? I never actually checked it bad not bad all right i'm gonna take all this loot into the main room i'm just gonna dis in fact i'm gonna transfer all the stuff out of these like broken crates i don't know how they did it but oh these are the dropbox crates this and this were the dropbox crates okay that makes more sense i was thinking they had floating chests but oh a lot simpler than that all right boys so i got my first inventory which is obviously the best inventory that i'm gonna just run back to my base now this is what i got so i got ak sulfur uh, 3k gunpowder, which is 6k sulfur. So that's another... So that's 14k sulfur total. That's really, really good. Plus all these guns. And you got to consider, before this raid, we only had semi-rifles. We didn't even have AKs, LRs, L96s. We are set now. We are so set. I can't even explain to you guys. Boys, this is it. Let's get it all home, get it safe, and then come back for some more, shall we? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.